Today we're tackling high fidelity wave files in your Plex media library and what you can do to work around the metadata issue and then I, I want to pose a question about Plex music. Let's jump in. As always, this video is part of my monthly Plex sponsored tutorial series where I do tutorials about Plex and tell you to go sign up with my affiliate link. I have a link if you want to sign up for free, a link if you want to get a Plex Pass, or a link if you want to gift a Plex Pass to someone else. I have videos covering what the benefits are, free versus paid, and a lot of tutorials. We're taking a break this week from my Beginner's Guide series that I started as I still want to fine-tune the format based on your all's feedback and one more time to work on it. It's been a busy month. But I wanted to tackle a question from a user here, Happy Days, who commented a few days ago on my high fidelity audio streaming in Plex with Tidal integration from last year or around Christmas time. And their comment says Plex can't do WAV files. No WAV files, no high fidelity. And while clearly <laughs> the high fidelity part was referring to Tidal's high fidelity, high fidelity options and not local files. This did kind of confuse me because a lot of my media li or music library is actually WAV files um, downloaded from some of the audio libraries that I work with. I just happen to put them in my um, file. And anytime I download something from Bandcamp or a site that gives me the option to choose my file format or directly from game developers for soundtracks, I've had a few that come bundled that way. I pretty much always choose WAV files. Now, if I'm ripping a CD, I'll go ahead and do FLAC or whatever. But if I'm given the option to get the highest possible quality file from someone else where I don't have the option of going back and ripping it myself later, I'm going to choose WAV files. That way, if nothing else, I can archive them and then go send them off to be compressed for FLAC for my library or something. But I knew I had WAV files in my library and I wasn't quite sure why that was an issue for someone. So I looked into it and there's a couple factors that are at play here. Number one is that a lot of Plex's uh, metadata organization functionality is actually limited to Plex Pass. It's limited behind the paywall of a Plex Pass. And I covered a lot of this in my Plex Pass versus free uh, video. But a lot of the metadata pooling and they have some sort of sonic recognition for actually just recognizing like the waveform of their like the music impression, you know, the actual sound of the song for recognizing music. Um, things like that are very much limited to Plex Pass. But secondly, Wave files don't store metadata in the same kind of tag and metadata format that most compressed files like FLAC or MP3 or AAC or anything like that actually use. And that actually causes quite a few programs to struggle. I mean, there were quite a few programs that I used for music libraries back in the day that just would not accept wave files. And I think even iTunes wouldn't accept wave files. Like, not even just won't load the metadata. Some of them are that way. But some programs genuinely won't even accept them because of that issue. And many of them that do, like I said, they don't have metadata. And so even though I know that there is metadata for um, the specific album I went to look for in my Plex library, which was my Warframe uh, official soundtrack. I downloaded that back in 2017, I think. Uh, from Digital Extremes, I believe it was from Bandcamp, like I mentioned, I wanted to enter there. They had a video contest, and you got to win something in-game or something, and I had convinced myself I would enter, even though I had nowhere near the experience or the information that or access to parts of the game that other people did, but I went ahead and downloaded it from them, and it comes in a wave, PCM wave, uncompressed, 96 kilohertz, 24 bits file, like... That is far higher quality than the human ear can perceive, despite what all of the audio fools like to say. And I was super happy with that. I was like, great, I get an uncompressed copy, don't have to worry about it for videos. If I'm using, you know, if I'm making the video for the contest and I get a nice quality to listen to. But when I searched my Plex Media Library, I couldn't find it. I was like, uh oh, does it really not support it? And I dig that's and I did some digging and there are a couple forum posts of people complaining about the same thing, and I found it, of course, as with iTunes and most media libraries, under Unknown Artist. It was in its own album as Unknown Artist. There was one other song grouped in there that wasn't in the same folder at all for some reason, so I simply edited the metadata of that one and kicked it out. Uh, but they were all in one Unknown Album by Unknown Artist with no metadata. And even pulling up the file in Media Info or something like that, like there's no tags to it. There's no artist, there's no album, there's nothing. And so even though I had it in a folder called Warframe OST and the actual file name structure was artist album number song name dot wave, Plex wasn't picking them up. And Plex has a big issue with music specifically 
with interpreting metadata from or with interpreting metadata from the files if it's not specifically in the structure that it wants. Now, given that I had just I don't as I've mentioned a couple of times, I don't actually use Plex for my music library playback for the most part. I basically just raw imported my Winamp library, which is what I was using originally. And I'm trying to move on to FUBAR, but I don't have the patience to do skinning. And every time I try to follow a guide for a cool skin, the plugins don't work or it doesn't end up looking like the guide. And Winamp just works for me. So I've just been using Winamp, but I just imported that at which point most of my soundtrack rips or downloads from the various companies that distribute them are just in a folder called game soundtrack because there's either multiple artists or no artists given just the publisher and it's easier just to be like Warframe soundtrack. But that doesn't work. So the suggested option was to make sure you're following Plex's, you know, organization strategy and it will detect it. So I said, okay, I moved Warframe OST as a folder into a folder called Digital Extremes since that was the artist and then renamed all the files that were just, you know, number song name. Now, Filebot wasn't cooperating with this and you you can automate it to automate this to some degree, but I didn't have anything like that quickly at my disposal. So I just did it manually, chopped off all the artist and album information and left it there. Now, it could be because I didn't have hyphens in between the number and name, but at this point it was clear refreshing my library and rescanning files and refreshing metadata. At no point did it actually change and show up as digital extremes. Went back to unknown artist and there it is. So the final solution, and I'm listing all of this because any of these could fix it for you. This is what I like to do with my tutorials is these are all, you know, organizing with folder of artist, folder of album, and then song name structured as Plex recommends in their support article may be the fix for you. But as a last resort, if it is not, you can do what you pretty much have to do in most other media players is you can actually click the little edit pencil for the album itself and put in delete unknown artist and unknown album, put in the artist name for me, that was Digital Extremes, the album name, Warframe OSD, and album sort name, Warframe OSD, and then I went ahead and went into tags and added soundtrack and game soundtrack and things like that, and click save. Now, if you change the year for some reason, that doesn't work for me, and I don't know if it's because I changed the year to one that was not that it, to its liking, or if it's just because I put in the year itself and not a year, month, day format. Uh, I was just putting in 2017, but it would not let me save the metadata with the year in it, so I just went artist name, album name, album name, and save. And then it populates, and it already pulls the cover from cover.jpg in the folder, so that was fine. The only thing I had to do was drag in the cover from the artist itself, at which point it pulled its own image, even though that's not what I dragged on. I can't explain what happened there, but as a last resort, you can do this. However, the reason I'm calling it a last resort and acting like it's weird is because this is what I'm I'm calling a soft metadata application in that you were telling Plex that this is the information about this album and this is how to sort it and store it and who it is and the information about it. And Plex will have that information in its little metadata library and files, but that doesn't alter the files itself. And so if you import them into any other media player or if you lose your metadata files, because that's actually like a metadata cache within your Plex server that's stored somewhere, if you end up starting from scratch with the server or that gets deleted or corrupted or something, it'll jump back to unknown artists next time you import it because that metadata isn't present. So I don't have a direct workaround for you at the moment, aside from just transcode your wave files to Plex and stop storing wasteful data, which is what a lot of people say because 200 megabytes, 100 megabytes per song is kind of nuts, but I'm nuts. <laughs> uh, this is the solution I have for now. And I'm specifically posing it here because I'm interested to see what your all suggestions are. I'm always looking for better automation things, better tools to organize files and things like that. And I believe there might be some better community suggestions out there and I would like to feature them. And so I'm putting this video as step one, the band-aid to your problem, so to speak, and th to get you moving with your Plex library and to keep it organized and keep you sane for now until you find a better solution, which is what it is for me. And so I'm interested to see if anyone else has any other suggestions of what works for them, specifically for WAV files or files that Plex cannot interpret metadata from. As mentioned, personally, I don't use Plex for my music library a whole heck of a lot. I use it for pretty much every sort of video library under the world. But music, I like having a local player and syncing. I, I, I just I haven't liked Plex's media player so far. And I showed their little like mini Plex player that was from Plex Labs. That was kind of cool. But nothing has topped my original iTunes experience, honestly. And then I switched from it 
to get flag support and wave support and some other functionality. And then I've been bouncing. I lost all my original playlists and I've never really quite gotten back to that point. And then I lost my first Winamp library I had built up at that point and lost playlists from there because it doesn't have any sort of easy syncing methodology and what I thought I exported and backed up didn't work. And so I'm thinking of using FUBAR because I believe on my Synology NAS I can run a FUBAR server and keep, since the music's there anyway, and not have to worry about next Windows install, I'm going to lose all my progress and playlists again because that was a complete waste of my time. So curious what you all use in the comment section down below for your media players for specifically music organization and if you have any suggestions for this. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my affiliate links to Plex if you want to download it for free. Buy a Plex Pass, buy a Plex Pass for someone else will be in the description down below. Just lets them know I sent you, gives a small kickback to the channel, helps keep this popular, popular, possible. And I will see you in the next video. I'm Eples Fox here to make tech easier and more fun. And happy plexing.